Hi, I am Ye Ching Wang. I am the power electronics engineer in this microgrid project. Hello, I'm Sankali Rage, and I'm the network and communication engineer in this microgrid project. Motivated by Syndam architecture with virtual synchronous machine technology proposed by Dr. Chin Chan Zhong for the next generation smart grids with the integration of renewable energy resources. We build a microgrid in Disco Lab for research, validation, and education with the help of Simlink, Texas Instruments, and National Instruments. Here is the operation of our TTO Disco microgrid testbed. It includes seven nodes, wind power, solar power, battery, generator, utility grid interface, and two flexible loads, LED and heater. The wind power is simulated with a motor generator coupled system. The solar power includes four solar panels and several flat lights to mimic the sunlight. The power electronic spots include DC-AC converters, DC-DC converters, and motor controllers. They are donated from Texas Instruments. Our technical route for the control of power electronics converters is called robust droop control for parallel operation converters in microgrids. This technology received 2017 TechConnect Innovation Award. We used the MATLAB Simlink to embed our technical algorithms into Texas Instruments C2000 microcontrollers. The microcontroller we use is F28M36 Concerta Microgrid Controller. It has two control cores. One is the digital signal processing card. We use it for converter control with our robust drop control algorithm. The other is ARM card. We use it for communication and SCADA system. Both cards are programmed in Simlink combined with CCS compiler. I will use the battery node as the Simlink demonstration. It includes four parts. This control block is our core robust job control algorithm. This transient block is peripherals control, such as analog to digital converter measurement, plus voice modulation generations. PQ block is used for real power and reactive power calculation. The fourth part is serial communication with ARM core. If we click control block, they will go inside. It includes two channels, the real power regulated by the frequency. We can see the nominal frequency is 60 Hz. Reactive power is regulated by voltage and the nominal voltage is 120 W. The ARM core only have communications. It has serial communication with DSP car and TCP RP communication with SCADA system. This is the SCADA system of our microgrid. The main purpose of having a SCADA system is to monitor and control of some basic function of the microgrid. As you can see in the video, we firstly switch on the battery system and then the generator system and finally the wind simulator system this scatter system is developed using national instrument lab view software so we do all the low level control with MATLAB Simulink one of the main reason and advantages of using MATLAB Simulink is that the MATLAB Simulink is compatible with wide variety of communication functions that are used in professional industrial softwares like LabVIEW and I. 